Hi there, thanks for taking the time to watch my first video on this channel, The Quant Insider. As you can tell from the title of this video, I will explain my story and dive into my educational and professional background. When applying to Quant roles, I was pretty frustrated by the lack of accessible educational resources. I doubted if I could even break into the field and put Quants on this huge pedestal that was unattainable. Fast forward to today, I have spent a few years working as a professional quantitative developer at a multi-billion dollar quantitative equity firm. Now I'm here to tell you that you can become a professional quant with enough drive, knowledge, and work ethic. So within this video, I will explain more about myself and what my intentions are behind this channel. So please follow along. So starting off here in the early days, uh, my journey with mathematics began with Kumon. For those unfamiliar, Kumon is a self-learning program designed to teach kids math and English. For those of you familiar with this godforsaken Kumon face, you already know the pain. So by age five, I was enrolled in Kumon mathematics and by 14, I had learned differential calculus. Those early days of endless worksheets made math one of my least favorite subjects. But hey, those grueling lessons paid dividends later when I breezed through high school mathematics. When I reached my final year of high school, I applied to the University of Waterloo Engineering Co-op Program. And this co-op program allowed me to graduate with six internships alternating between four months of studying and four months of working. And my courses focused on advanced mathematics, programming, physics, and machine learning. If you are studying computer science right now and have done internships, such as like in the Bay Area, you have probably encountered one of us Waterloo engineers. Um, we pretty much work a lot. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, we done six internships by the time we graduate. And so I was able to graduate uh, with experience at big techs and also startups. At the big techs, I worked as a backend software developer and at the startups I worked at as a machine learning engineer. While the work was technically engaging, it didn't excite me. Writing code to solve mundane problems gave me zero fulfillment. I was coding, but it wasn't something I could see myself doing long term. So, you know, it wasn't challenging and did not really align with my interests. So working at either of these two did not really suit me. Then came 2020, and like many others, I was drawn to the stock market's volatility and excitement. As I dove deeper, I learned company fundamentals to guide my long-term investments. And that's when I started trading shares and options. And then, like many, I stumbled into the rabbit hole of day trading, YouTubers. I knew that after I started day trading and after a year of emotional roller coasters and modest progress, I knew day trading wasn't sustainable for me. At one point, I came across SMB Capital. Uh, SMB Capital is a proprietary trading desk firm in New York City, and I bought their $4,000 trading course. Yes, you heard that right, $4,000. And let's just say I was determined. While the course did improve my trading skills slightly, consistent profitability remained elusive. It was emotionally draining, and I began to wonder if I could automate my trades by combining programming with my new interest in finance. That's when I discovered quants. This was completely new to me. I've never heard of this in my life before. Um, quants, if you don't know, they're professionals who merge mathematics, finance, and programming to develop advanced trading models. I was hooked. I dove headfirst into learning about the quant finance industry. And as graduation loomed, I knew I wanted to combine uh, a career with engineering and software skills with my love for finance. The problem, there was one main problem that I was facing when this time came around. Uh, finding helping, helpful information about the quant industry was like finding a needle in a haystack. The people I saw in the few videos online seemed brilliant, and I convinced myself I couldn't compete. The only videos I could find were like day in the life of a quant or some uh, interview tips here and there on the new quant dev role. And, you know, I had a lot of self-doubts from watching those. And looking back, I realized I had created a facade of inferiority that wasn't grounded. And it was just all in my imagination. So 
After much research, I realized my best shot was to target quant developer roles instead of quant research. The latter often requires a higher barrier to entry with roles dominated by PhDs and advanced mathematicians. As someone with strong internship experience but no graduate degree, I knew that quant dev roles were my sweet spot. So over the next several months, it took me five months after graduation uh, to really land a role. I sent out 400 applications for quant dev and machine learning roles. I went through over 80 rounds of interviews. I was miserable. Like this was definitely one of the toughest times. I had so much self doubt. I really did not believe in myself uh, near the end, but I stuck with it. And I eventually landed my first full time position as a quantitative quantitative developer at a multi billion dollar quantitative equity firm. The grind was definitely worth it. As a quant dev, my work is split between alpha research projects and improving the firm's code base to enhance cost and time efficiency. So, you know, that could be like code speed ups, um, like I mentioned, research projects, I'll maybe do some data processing for the researchers um, to give them some new insights on investment methodology. And then, you know, moving a lot of our stuff to cloud computation, working with batch and distributed computing and etc lots of other things along with that and every day I am pretty amazed by the sophistication of quantitative trading models and how much of the market's inner workings are hidden from the public and over the past couple of years I've learned many valuable lessons and I'd like to share this insightful information with you and build a community so what's next for me? So some of the goals that I have uh, for the coming years, and um, I'll highlight this last one over here. I plan on doing my CFA and then also some graduate studies. And the highlight for 2025 will be undoubtedly launching the Quant Insider. Boom, 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 yes. As I mentioned at the start of this video, my goal is to build a community around quantitative finance. I'll share educational content to help aspiring quants break into the industry and provide actionable insights for those interested in quantitative investment strategies. So here is what you can expect. I will be talking about fundamentals of quantitative equity. I'll be going over breakdown of the typical quant model structure. I'll also be going into in depth with uh, the mathematics behind key concepts. So I would expect you to have some good understanding of mathematics, um, but I'll try to keep everything as simple and easy as possible here. And then I'll also be sharing some alternative data for investment insights. This will probably come a lot later, maybe midway half 2025. And then I'll discuss, you know, your typical alpha construction and methodology and much, much more. Through this channel, I hope to help aspiring quants break into this industry and guide those looking to integrate fundamental quantitative strategies into their investment methodologies. I am to do this through an easy, follow along and structured educational video series where I discuss anything between fundamental theories, stock selection, factor modeling, portfolio construction, optimization, and much more. So if you're interested in learning about the quant industry, stick around, okay? In the comments, let me know how I can improve on my teaching style or what topics you'd like me to cover. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.